Welcome back, everyone. Well, you know, so much is said about the relationship that we have with horses. Think of that famous movie, Horse Whisperer. And uh, some of it is this sort of unknown communication that's throughout history has proven to be a very unique relationship. And joining me today are two women involved with an organization called Act Naturally. And their goal and their mission is to really highlight that relationship in a very meaningful way, especially for women in our community. So joining me today is Jamie Brannick, who's a board member. Welcome, Jamie. Thank you. And Valerie Buck, who's back again, who's the president and founder, right, Val? Yes. Thank you for having us. Oh, you're quite welcome. And we're going to do the little thing we were doing before we went on air. Brannock! Buck! Buck, 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 buck! All right, now we're old friends. <laughs> Uh, Val, I want to start with you. Uh, you were here before, and we were absolutely fascinated by this organization. First, uh, what does ACT naturally stand for? It's aftercare continued thoroughbred training. We take the horses when they're done their careers at the racetrack, and we continue their education so that they can go on for another rewarding career, mm -hmm. helping to keep them purposeful and safe from abuse, neglect, or slaughter. Yeah, and you know what? The horses know it, don't they? They do, yes. I know, I know. Yeah. So you light up every time we talk about <laughs> this. I remember this from the first time. Um, Why did you get involved? Well, I was a forever lifetime horse lover. Grew up with a pony. Out of high school, I went to work in the thoroughbred racing industry. I was there for 28 years. And uh, my concern grew over the years where I took a horse or two that was leaving their racing career behind. I became more and more focused on the need for safe futures for the horses leaving their racing careers behind. Um, I was with Saratoga War Horse for three years. I volunteered with the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation and eventually started this organization um, to help more thoroughbreds that are leaving their racing careers behind onto new futures. I've got to write it to you. You've been doing this for about three years, right? Our anniversary is um, April of 2016 we turned three years old wow. we're celebrating in May but it's a it's a significant uh, milestone because we've mm -hmm. become eligible for more grant opportunities as we turn three years old so we're excited mm -hmm. about it and we're looking to share with our friends and supporters mm -hmm. now Jeanine how long have you been involved um, I am newly involved I just okay. started working with Valerie at the barn in December mm -hmm. and why uh, we <laughs> met by chance just neighbors in Cambridge mm. um, met by accident. I asked what she was doing. I thought she seemed like such an interesting person when I yeah. met her and I wanted to know what is she doing and she told me about Act Naturally and the organization and I as well have always loved horses and I said can I come and volunteer at your mm -hmm. barn? Is there any room for volunteers? And I've mm -hmm. been there ever since. Well, you know what, in, in the world we live in which is all technology based you know, has very little to do with mentoring, has very little to do with intimate relationships and whatever. I want to talk a bit about uh, the things that you're doing with, let's, let's pick teenage girls, and let's, uh, we could talk about veterans, we could talk about anyone that, and that this, of course, a lot of us can relate to this. There's something in your, going on in your life. You feel troubled, you're facing a challenge, Explain how this connection works. Well, I can tell you that the, the reason I'm here is because this changed my life. Mm. I left the racetrack, I got involved in natural horsemanship and learned a deeper level of these horses and the fact that we are predators and they're prey animals and mm. learning their trust. And there's a whole nother layer of a horse when you get to work with them through natural horsemanship and learn that horse-human bond that can happen. Mm -hmm. It changed my life. I went to a course in 2009 and my life was changed forever. Mm -hmm. And it's enhanced my life the more I've done it. So I wanted to share this with other people. You know, learning mutual respect, healthy boundaries, um, learning to trust, unconditional love. A horse doesn't look at you and see as you as a victim of rape or uh, whatever trauma you may have faced. A horse sees you as they're looking to you for leadership. So if you mm -hmm. can become a good leader, we build self-esteem, mutual respect, all those great things mm -hmm. that can are um, things that can take you out into your relationships in life and mm -hmm. enhance your life. You know, before we went on air, um, Val was telling me 
about two teenage girls who were part of a program, and they didn't look up. They just looked down until after a couple of weeks, and just that whole sense that they were coming, having more self-esteem, that they were building a relationship with the horse, and the horse was building a relationship with them, right? Yes. Now, you see it firsthand, Janine, right? Yeah, I do. And um, oftentimes when we're having these workshops, I, I have to not cry. I, we have to not show how emotional, you know, because you watch their faces change, you watch their body right. language change. You, when we, we go around in a circle and ask them to give a word to describe mm. what's going on today or how they're feeling about what they're learning. And when these teenagers give words like inspirational <sighs> and, you know, just respect. And when they use words like that, it makes her and I just, it, you just want to cry, but you, you can't. Right, it's right. just very heartwarming to see that you're having that influence in that kid's life. You know what? Those words don't come naturally to them. Yeah. It's not part of their experience. It's not part of what they're seeing in day-to-day -day life. You know, they're coming from broken homes. They come from a lot of very abusive situations. And uh, all of a sudden, they're finding the reward in developing a relationship with the horse. Boy, you must feel very proud about this, right? It's amazing. And yeah. it's just it's sharing. It's all I'm doing is sharing. I'm sharing mm -hmm. with the horses the gift that they have to give to us. Mm -hmm. If we reach in, they have so much wisdom and so much to share with us if we can open ourselves up to learn from them. Yeah, that's a key. Open yourself up to learn from them, right? Yes. That's the key. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really key. Now, uh, we've got an event coming up, uh, May 23rd, which is a Monday night. Correct. Okay. At a really fabulous restaurant just south of Saratoga on Route 50, call 50 South. Boy, that makes sense now, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Kim Comstock, who, uh, if you know Kim, everything she does is first class. So it, um, and the event is the 23rd. It's like 50 bucks, right? Yes. And tell us what, the, what someone can expect. Uh, well, we're going to have live music. Um, mm -hmm. The house band from 50 South. Um, his name is? Mike O'Donnell. Mike O'Donnell. Uh, fabulous 50 South farm to table food, right. libations. We're going to have a silent auction, 50 50 raffle. It's going to be fun. It's going to be yes. lighthearted, a lot of fun. We're going to talk about our organization and the work that we do. And we just, we really um, appreciate the support that we've been getting. So that's mm -hmm. kind of a little party for us, for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, the proceeds will go to help feed our horses and for our operational expenses. You know, there's the insurance mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff that we have to sure. pay for to do all this. And we are relying on fundraising. So it's a fundraiser, but it's going to also be a lot of fun, par you know, party atmosphere. Yeah, someone tells me if the two of you are involved. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was great to see you again, Val. It's, nice to meet you, Jamie. Yeah. And uh, we're going to run this interview a bunch of times. The event is Monday, May 23rd. Mark it on your calendar. It's not too far down the road. Mark it on your calendar. And uh, help this absolutely unique, worthwhile organization. Crazy about what you do, really. This is, this is really something special. Mm -hmm. And thanks very much for coming in. Thank you so much, Jesse. It's always nice to see you. Good to see you as well. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.